In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to easily upload your iOS app builds into Apple's App Store Connect using the BuddyBus app plugin. Once a build has been uploaded to App Store Connect, it can be applied in TestFlight to be released as a beta release, or it can be attached to an actual app version to be released in the Apple App Store as a new version of your app. In the past, these steps would have required you to use a desktop application called Transporter, which also required you to be on a Mac computer. But now with this new feature, you can upload builds without any third-party software and from any computer directly from the BuddyBoss app plugin. And behind the scenes, our plugin is doing all of the validation and uploading work for you. Our team uploads a build as part of the publishing service. But if you want to self-publish, or if you want to upload a new version of your app after it has already been published, you can use this new feature to do so. Before you begin, you will need to set up your upload configuration by going into Configure, and then iOS Settings, and then scroll down, and you'll see the section for Upload Configuration. Under Apple Account ID, you will see a list of accounts that have admin or app manager access, meaning they have access to upload builds to the app that you've set as your release app. Select the account that you want to use. And then for this account, you'll need to create what is called an app-specific password. This password is different from the app-specific shared secret that you may have set up for in-app products. To create this app-specific password, you'll go into the Apple ID account page. And first, you'll need to log into your Apple account. Once logged in, you will scroll down to the section called Security, and where it says App-Specific Passwords, click on Generate Password. And you're going to generate a password by first giving it a label like Buddy Boss App, and I'll click on Create to create the password. And then enter the password for your Apple ID to confirm, and click Continue. And then it's going to generate your app-specific password, which I'll copy. And we can come back to the WordPress admin and paste the password in here. And then we'll click on Save Changes. Once you've connected that, you can now go and upload builds. There are two ways to do this. The first way is to go into the Build screen and then find the iOS release app that you want to upload and we'll click Upload to App Store Connect. And from here, I can upload the build that I just selected. Or you can go to the Upload page and then click on Upload Build. And from here, we can select a build to upload to App Store Connect. Note that you can only select builds that are iOS release app builds, which have not already been uploaded to App Store Connect and that have a build version and a code higher than any other build uploaded to App Store Connect. So you can see in here that this build version and this code must be higher than any other builds that you have in your App Store Connect account. Builds that don't meet these three criteria will not appear in this list. So select the build you want to upload, and then we'll click on Upload Build. And that is going to start the process, which will take 10 to 15 minutes to upload. Once the build has been uploaded, you'll be able to see it inside of your App Store Connect account. It's important to note that if you are a customer who already had an app published before coming over to BuddyBoss, and now you're switching over to BuddyBoss app, you'll need to make sure that when you request your build, that you set your build version higher than the one that is already in your App Store. So let's go back into Build, and I'll click on Request Build. iOS release app, and next step. And if I scroll down, you can see these two fields for build version and build version code. You can click these pencil icons to override these. Make sure these version numbers are set higher than the highest version number you currently have in App Store Connect. Once you've set this to a higher number, your next build requests will use versions that are automatically incremented from the number that you set. So for example, if I were to bump this to 2.0.0, then the next build request will automatically increment to 2.0.1, 2.0.2, and so on. All right, so now let's go find the build that we just uploaded to App Store Connect. So it's been about 10 minutes, 
And I'm now logged into appstoreconnect.apple.com and I'll click on My Apps and click on your app. And in your test flight section, you'll see that the build has been uploaded. Once in here, you can submit the build into test flight so that it can be sent to testers. Or you can click on App Store and then scroll down here to attach it to an App Store version to release to the App Store. And if you want more information on this topic, look at our publishing to the Apple App Store tutorial.